Hi friends, how are you doing? Now today with the Marla, we are going to be using the absolute amazing tree book. Now this was actually chapter one. Can you believe that? We're on chapter 11 now. But what I wanted to do is just revisit some of the old classics to show you what to do with them. Simply studying. Now, you may think that that's been out of stock for ages. Don't worry, we have it back in stock on the Stamps By Me website. So let me show you what I'm going to do today. I've already taken a piece of watercolour card and I've simply just used a script background, sprayed it, and then just added some flicks of some watercolour paper that um, I've already pre-inked already. So this is going to be my base. So from here now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tea dye, beautiful ink, and I'm just going to distress it slightly around the edges. Actually, I'm just going to pick this ink up. I'm going to be using one of these daubers. This is the much thicker grain of hairs, but look how smooth it is. Simply stunning. If you always work on a piece of scrap paper as well, because what you can do is you can actually use this as a background after. So never throw any of your ink work away. So I'm just going to rotate it around. And you can tell already, these strips of watercolour paper that I've put on there, I've left the edges quite raw. There's a reason, because we're actually going to pull them up and make it quite 3D when we finish. So again, just applying that soft tea dye just around the edge to give it that vintage feel. And it's so simple. Try not to put too much colour on straight away because otherwise you're going to end up with nowhere to blend to. But you can just build it up in layers if you prefer. So now remember, don't throw that away. We can use that in another time. Now what I'm going to do is very simply open my Eureka. And I'm not going to use the whole stamp straight away. I am going to use it in just a second. But for right now, I want to do it on decorative edges. So I'm going to take my tree stamp and I'm just going to apply just the top half, just this piece, onto a um, very simple acrylic block. Then I'm going to take my brush corduroy over the top. Now this isn't going to be a crisp image because I'm using distress inks, but this will be my background. So now I'm just going to pull this over. Just rotate that round. So then I've got my first generation ink in. Second, so it's a bit lighter. Go back into my ink. You can build it up more if you wish. So then we're just accentuating that absolutely beautiful foliage around the edges. Again, all the way round. And it just draws your eye in as well. It just creates the scene. I mean, this would work perfect as well for like a Halloween card. You could do black and orange maybe with like a red skyline. But this at the moment is just accents of colour of design around the edge. So just a little tad more. Perfect. So now I'm going to take this, place my magnet in place, and then this will actually stamp just there. So now I'm just going to pick up my VersaFine Black Onyx, pick this up, add some ink, now you can tap or you can actually scrub over the stamp with your ink pad, but making sure you tap to finish. Because obviously you don't you want to get as much ink on as possible, but you don't want splurges. So always tap to finish because then it takes off any excess ink and stops it pooling in the different areas. So now I'm just going to bring this over. Stamp straight down using my fingertips. Try not to use the whole of your hand. 
just the top because it's the contact of the stamp with the paper that creates the image. So let's have a look. Do I need to go again? Oh, a little bit more, I think. Because we are stamping over multiple layers. Nearly. Perfect. A bit more down there. There we go. Right, so now we can start painting. I'm just going to pop this on top of my Eureka just because I find it a lot more simpler to paint on top because you can just wipe this off. I'm going to be using the beautiful Himi Moist Watercolours as well with this and of course one of my little Himi brushes. I'm going to go straight in and I'm going to take that Okra first of all. And we are just going to pull the colour in on the edges. Really, really simple. If you've not done any watercolouring before, this is a great way to start because it's achievable. It's not like when you look at something and you think, oh, I'm never going to be able to do that. It's so simple. And it's wonderful to do as well. So now I'm going to grab a piece of water on my brush and just accentuate them colours into the centre. So now I'm going to go in a little bit of the yellow. So I'm just going to mix that in the middle. But I'm also going to add a little tiny tad of pink. So it just gives you that sort of peachy effect. And then again, I'm just going to bring it in on the edges. And you can see how easy and achievable this can be. So now I'm going to go into a little tad of brown, just pull it into that colour that we've previously made, like so. Rotate your brush to get the excess off. And then we are just going to start adding some colour in. What I love about this tree is it could be a family tree, it could be a silhouette used, it could be um, so many different things. Absolutely gorgeous to use and it is a must have stamp because it's so unique and different. And it makes you feel super arty because it is just so arty. I'm going to add that um, okra in there again now and I'm just going to start adding in some dimension and layers. Rinse my brush. I'm going to go into the green. I'm going to take that green, pop it straight into that okra that I've mixed already. We're just simply adding the colours together, just here and there, just follow the design. Don't worry if you come off the edge as well because it really doesn't matter. This becomes a piece of you as you create it, so because of that it doesn't matter. So now I'm just going to take some dots, so I'm using my round edge brush. And I'm just tapping over the leaves. Now you can make this a full leafed bush or you could make it more of a skeleton um, leaf or it's up to you, it really is. And of course, depending on what colour you do, depends what season it is. So this would work beautiful winter, you could put snow on the ground, it could be springtime, summertime or autumn. So I'm just following it round with the lightest green I'm using. Now I'm going to go into my darker green. I'm going straight in, I'm not mixing this. 
rotate so my brush isn't too saturated. Then we're just going to go over the top. And this just gives it a lot more depth. Try not to lean on your work as you rotate it round. If so, pop a piece of paper so you don't compress your artwork. Just add in a tiny bit more detail down here. So of course this could be black and white. It works beautiful as a monochrome. Absolutely stunning. And I'm just following one of those vines. Super easy. And then I'm just adding water to my brush. And of course, where I've had that little bit of green that was on there before, I'm also going to blend a little bit of the background out as it goes over. Now, I'm just going to heat set that. Now remember them strips of paper that I didn't glue down all the way on the edges. Now what I'm going to do is just grab that edge and push it up so it gives you texture. I'm going to come down here. Don't worry if the design is slightly split like so, it really doesn't matter. But what we're doing is we are creating a texture and a resist of where we've actually stamped. So now we will have multiple textures on the card. And of course you also get that relief of where you've inked around it as well. So now I'm going to add this to my card, really, really simple. I've gone for chocolate brown and dark grey. So I'm just going to add this. So this is my matte and layer which all it does is frame your work. Sometimes black can be a bit harsh, so that's when grey works beautiful. And there we go. Now I'm simply just going to add a few random gems, not too many. There we go. How about that then? So it's beautiful. You've got texture in there. Really, really different. And remember, the tree book is amazing. So there we go. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you feel inspired. It's been wonderful to have your company. Take care of yourself and each other. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.